Welcome to this demonstration of Safford Communications hosted predictive data for businesses. In this demonstration, we're going to look uh, more briefly at the reporting elements of the dialer. Um, that's going to be looking at a couple of reports for managers um, and also the uh, agent facing, facing dashboard that we're uh, going to look at in a little bit more detail. So, to start with, we're looking at the moment at the administration panel, and the first thing that we want to click on is the reports. Um, you can see here there's a lot of reports, we're really just going to focus on three of them, which is the real time main report, the real time campaign summary, and we're also going to look at the uh, agent performance detail as well before we, uh, we go ahead and look at the, uh, the agent dashboard. So the real-time main report is ultimately uh, it's an overview, um, and we'll talk through these elements uh, as we go through now. Uh, when you land on this page, first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to change the uh, screen refresh uh, ratio to four seconds, and you can just see here near the top right, um, it'll tell you when that's going to refresh. So this just gives us a, a list of all agents, irrespective of the uh, the campaign and some information. Um, it tells us um, what phone on the left here that they're actually uh, what they're connecting to here, where it's the station. The, the username, uh, session ID, which we can ignore, and uh, the important part is the, uh, the status. Um, so as you can see here, you can see these agents are in call. A couple of agents that are paused as well. Um, shows you how long they've actually been in that status for, um, and these, uh, these fields are sorted all as well. Uh, it tells you what campaign uh, the agent's logged into and how many calls they've actually uh, received as well. Um, this at the moment is demonstrating a, a manual dial mode, so you can see here we've got dial level near the top left being zero. If we change that to a predictive mode where we're making uh, more lines, uh, more line calls than the agent, so a two to one ratio, which we discussed in the previous demonstration, it would uh, show the dial level there. Uh, it shows you how many dialable leads are available at the moment for all, uh, all agents. Um, just moving down the, uh, the pertinent areas, um, shows us calls today, uh, just under 1,300 calls and uh, no dropped calls as well. So out of those 1,300 attempted calls, 400 37 have actually uh, answered, so they use somebody home and uh, answered the phone, and uh, no calls have been uh, been dropped. It tells us here that our dial method is manual. Again, if we change that to method to um, hard adaptive, uh, which is where the dial will adapt the uh, the pacing to uh, serve uh, more calls, um, or if that was uh, set to uh, ratio mode where we uh, actually set that ourselves, and we've got an order, so we're working down through the list at the moment. See, there's 20 agents logged in at the moment, 17 of main calls, no agents waiting, two agents pause, none on dead calls, and one agent or one agent was in their disposition in a call. Um, agents that are dead basically shows where the customer's hung up but the uh, the agent hasn't and um, that can be sort of commonly referred to as a uh, as wrap time as well. Um, you'll see here that there's uh, different shades of colours and that's because if we look down there's a little key here that says uh, that uh, denotes the colour versus uh, the status and how long they've uh, actually been in it. So this is a useful report as a, a quick overview. Um, you know, the manager sat there and wants to just make sure that uh, agents are moving on to uh, calls as quickly as possible. That's a, a good report to use. Just clicking back onto reports now, we're going to look at the real-time campaign summary. Um, the campaign summary is useful if you've got agents running multiple campaigns, or if your call centers running multiple campaigns, so if you've got one that's uh, solar panels, one that's RTA, one that's PPI, and you want to be able to see the difference between them, you would use the real-time campaign summary. Um, there's lots of campaigns here, because this is our uh, demo server, so as you can see, it's a lot of information on this page. But that would basically break down all the information that we looked at a little bit earlier, but uh, it will break it down by campaign so you can see how many agents are logged into each campaign, how many uh, calls have been taken on that campaign, how many have been answered, how many have dropped. So it gives all that information again but breaks it down by uh, campaign. Last uh, of the, uh, the reports we're going to look at is the agent performance detail. So we can select between date ranges, select users. Um, in this case we're just going to say all campaigns, all users and uh, hit submit. So what this is going to show is the uh, performance details, so it will show us how long they've spent on each uh, call type, so how many calls they've had, how long they've been on pause, how long they've been waiting, how long they've been talking, what the average talk time is, um, how long they've been um, in wrap up or dead for and the average time for it and it'll also break down um, by status code um, all the statuses for the date range so you can see you know, how many no answers, not interested, sales that they've made um, so that really gives you a good indication um, 
as to uh, what what uh, barriers agents are getting. If you're seeing one agent that's getting uh, 90% not interested and uh, everyone else is at 30%, then that that could lead to uh, to being a coaching area for them. And very easy, you can just hit download, and that will download that report into Excel, and then you can uh, sort and pivot that information out and uh, get all the information that you need. So that's just three of the, uh, the very, very basic reports in there. Um, as you can see, what you're able to look at is all your inbound reports. So if you want to uh, see who's receiving the most inbound calls, you can see through the inbound reports uh, by direct dial. Um, that'll show you which numbers are actually being rang. So if you're doing marketing campaigns and you want to be able to see uh, which one's the most responsive, you're able to check it that through as well. You can set service level reports. So you know if a call should be answered within a certain uh, number of rings, you're able to see that. Um, and we can get uh, a lot of detailed, a uh, lot of detailed reports through that as well. Um, the bespoke dashboard that we offer, which is here, um, aesthetically slightly more pleasing. Um, so this is dashboard that uh, typically goes up uh, as a wallboard in the call centre of the sales office, and the managers can have versions of this as well. So this shows um, all the information that you'd need uh, in real time and historic. So just going from left to right, we've got the user ID. Uh, Username. The current status and status time is actually a live report, so you'll be able to see those uh, ticking away there. So that shows you uh, which agents are uh, in call, which are paused. Um, dead is where customers uh, have hung up, but the agent hasn't. So ultimately, what you want to see there is lots and lots of in calls. This is uh, configurable um, as a development exercise. So you can see here we've got one user that uh, was on a call there. Uh, for five minutes and they've configured that if a call lasts more than three minutes the status time turns green uh, and that's just so obviously they can then uh, they can then see um, which uh, which agents are on good calls and good pitches um, it gives you uh, total to talk time uh, the average talk time per agent so again if you've got one agent that's got a really high talk time one's got a very low average talk time that can show some developmental areas for them as well Idle time is how long they've been waiting for calls, so that gives you a very good indication um, as to uh, the pacing of your dialer, whether that's uh, too soft or too aggressive. Uh, wrap time um, is something really to watch out for, so it's when a customer's hung up but the agent hasn't dispositioned the call and made themselves available. So where you've got a high uh, average wrap time, or high wrap time, uh, that's somebody who probably needs to be a little bit more productive. Um, and in this test scenario, um, what you can see there is that uh, it turns red when it reaches uh, higher than 10 seconds, and again, that can be configured. Um, pause time is uh, when they've paused themselves, made themselves unavailable for calls, so again, that's something to keep an eye on. And what this will show is uh, also the number of calls taken, how many of those calls were human contacts, um, and then that ultimately leads to a contact rate. Um, so again, it's uh, very useful to sit with agents who might be under or overperforming, have a conversation that actually they are getting opportunities to sell, and it's uh, a conversion rate issue. Uh, DMCs is uh, decision maker contacts. Um, it's very similar to uh, human contacts. It might be if you set a status as um, a uh, non-decision maker um, answered, that would be a human contact, but wouldn't be a decision maker. So that's the differential between the two. What it shows you is ultimately how many decision maker contacts per hour where people are getting. Again, that's really useful to show whether people are burning data, and but also shows you that people are getting an opportunity to sell. Um, leads, that can be anything you want to call it. Leads, appointments, sales, it doesn't matter. And again, that's a configurable field, so if you want that to turn green when it reaches a certain level, or amber when it reaches a certain level, that's not a problem. And uh, appointments per hour is on there, which is which is a really useful report, because um, ultimately, if you've got a, a part-time or someone's in for half a day, they might not reach the uh, same numeric uh, number of leads, so if you had a lead target of 10 in half a day, they may only have achieved 5, but in the time that they're there, they might actually be performing at a much higher level, so their appointments, sales, leads per hour, um, whatever it is, could be much higher than the full-time staff, as could be next to that decision-maker contact conversion, so uh, this is able to identify actually who your strong performers are, irrespective of how long they've actually been on the phone. At the bottom of this segment here, you can see uh, we've got totals uh, for every section, and uh, this dashboard can be configured to show by campaign. So that works well when there's just one or two campaigns. If you've got uh, 10 or 15 campaigns, that can become quite a large, uh, quite a large wallboard. wallboard. Uh, but it can be configured for teams, and you can give the teams names as well, and that uh, just promotes a bit of healthy competition. And um, you, what you get at the top here is that the call center total, so across all teams and all campaigns, 
and what is the uh, what is the total and each team's got their own uh, their own totals there uh, very easy to change teams just click uh, teams and then uh, rename the uh, teams and uh, change who's uh, assigned to it so that's a very very quick whistle stop tour of uh, reporting there is lots more and uh, in the in the demonstration video uh, on this page we'll actually show you how to connect uh, a user interface to uh, the back end of this dialer so we're going to use microsoft access uh, to show you how to uh, build and run some uh, ad hoc reports